Welcome to Wanaka Country Club, located in Hamburg, New York, just a few miles south of the city of Buffalo. Founded in 1899, uh, we are celebrating the club's 125th anniversary this year. The club doesn't survive and thrive for 125 years without a very positive culture. There's a special attachment to the event because the trophy that's awarded to the winner is named after a former member of Wanaka Country Club. So the fact that his name is on the trophy uh, gives us special pride. Ganson Depew really was an innovator for the game of golf. When he passed, they started a Memorial Invitational for him. This will be the 90th year for the Memorial Invitational. Having a bunch of members in the field is gonna be really exciting. A lot of local guys playing. We hosted this event in 1981 and 1999, so there's definitely some history here. It'll be a really great opportunity to showcase the club and, and the facility to the players who haven't been here before. We've got a lot of volunteers that signed up months ago to be a part of this event. I think there's a lot of folks that are excited to just even sit on the patio, at members terrace, and watch the best players in New York State play golf. The golf course was originally a nine-hole course, and in 1925 became an 18-hole golf course. Par here is 72, yardage is 7,035. Designed by Willie Watson, we went through a master plan renovation from 2010 through 2018, with some updates from Chris Wolzinski. The views of the lake give you a really cool coastal setting that you might see in California or Long Island, but you don't really find in you know upstate New York. This is a classic course, very true to the landform here. We do see some elevation change with our proximity to the lake. I think the biggest changes that we've seen since 2018 from when the Mid-Am was here was some additions of bunkers, some length added to the golf course, and some key trees either removed or added to maintain the challenge or open up views of the golf course and the lake. Number 11 is, is special to me. It's the hole that I had the most impact on. It was the hole that we finished in 2018 as part of the master plan. And just the way the cross bunkers come in to really challenge that second shot. But also it's one of the few holes you don't have a great view of the lake, but the golf hole itself is what's really special. course playing just over 7,000 yards for this event. I think the front nine is going to be where a lot of the players are going to have to make some hay because the back can be very challenging. Those wind conditions, the proximity to Lake Erie. The first couple holes are definitely birdieable. I think the Eagle is definitely in play on uh, hole number three. Tough bunkering on number three to really challenge those guys who go right as well as a very prominent specimen tree that's going to make you think about your tee shot as well as your second shot. We have some short par fours that if you're looking at the scorecard, you're thinking, yeah, here's my chance to, to really get one back. And then you're standing on the tee and it's really a mental game. Two, 10 and 17, you can hit driver on those holes and get on the green or pretty close to the green, but it doesn't really take a shot that's very far offline to shoot a big number on those holes. There are a lot of great holes on the golf course. I personally love hole number two. It's a short par four. It takes a, a really good you know, tee shot because fairway bunkers are on both sides. And then you have to hit a really great wedge shot in. The green is probably the toughest on the course, but it's a fun uphill hole that looks really easy on the scorecard, but once you play it, it can be a big challenge and you can you know, really have a high number there if you don't hit some good shots. If the wind is moving, it can really challenge every facet of player, whether you're a long hitter, a good ball striker, or a great putter. So depending on the direction of the wind, the par fives could play downwind, uh, making all of them reachable. Um, so that's a really good opportunity to shoot a low score. What they play in the practice round could be totally different than what they see in the first day. I think there's more challenging holes on the back nine, so players that typically can get pretty far under par on the front nine have a really good chance of uh, you know, shooting a good number. The greens on the back nine get a little tougher. Uh, especially as that day goes on, they get a little firmer, a little quicker. They are very challenging to read, and you know it might look like a flat putt, but it's running away towards the lake. There's a lot of challenges, holes, you know, 14 through 18, really. The second shot on hole number 14, the par five, can definitely bring trouble into play for the players that are trying to get there in two, depending on where the wind's coming from. So it's making a decision on, do you lay that up to a good wedge number, or do you try and take on the hazard on the left-hand side of that green? And the way the green sits, it isn't always receptive to, to longer irons or fairway woods, so. Everyone talks about our signature hole, number 15. It's gonna play right about 200 yards. 
from an elevated tee down to a green that's much narrower once you get down there than when it perceives to be from the tee box. The tee shot on 16 is challenging with out of bounds down the, the right hand side. And then longer hitters, um, if they play too conservative off the tee, too far to the left, they get blocked out. 17, again, could potentially be drivable depending on how you set the golf course up. That green kind of sticks out into the pond a little bit. So that second shot with a wedge in your hand, depending on what angle you're coming in from, it can get a little nerve wracking with a tournament on the line. And then 18 is a tough hole. You got to hit the drive really long and really straight. And that green, it's a tricky green if you're hitting a, a long iron into it. it, can make or break a tournament. Good luck to all the players this year. Um, we really hope Wanaka gives you a true test. I wish everybody the best and enjoy Wanaka Country Club.